I'm Priscilla Barrera with the Investimius Network, and here with me today is Albert Lee, analyst at Benchmark Mineral Intelligence. Albert, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. All right. So to start, can you let us know what your role is at Benchmark and a little bit about your background? Okay. Uh, uh, I'm the uh, analyst. Uh, so I, do, I cover the market research and price assessment and also uh, the market trend analysis uh, in China market. Uh, my areas include lithium, um, uh, cobalt and graphite from cathode to anode too. And um, for investors who are new to the market, can you briefly talk about what is the current state of the lithium market in China? What factors are impacting the local market supply and demand dynamics? So I, I think right now the, the uh, market uh, in China uh, is um, uh, going well with the uh, general economy. Uh, and we can see uh, the EV market is still uh, like a bo booming market there. And uh, for the factors, uh, we, we, we have a political side and eco economical side too. Uh, so for, for example, the policies, uh, the NEV subsidy uh, policy can make, uh, I already made a huge impact on, on the uh, market, especially like uh, the supply demand uh, situation. And uh, sometimes uh, even a rumor of the NEV subsidy policy uh, can have a, a deep uh, impact on the market. Uh, uh, that will uh, affect uh, the cathode producers, uh, the battery producers, and even uh, the NGV producers too. All right. And um, at the Lithium Supply Conference and for the past months, there's been a lot of discussion around China's conversion capacity. Can you tell us your thoughts on that and what are some of the common misunderstandings and what is actually happening uh, so uh, uh, about the uh, capacity, uh, there is uh, always this overcapacity problem in uh, many industries in China. So that includes uh, lithium uh, industry since it's uh, a hot uh, industry now. Um, but the truth is, um, and also some mis misunderstandings are uh, 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 the fear. Um, I mean, many people, uh, they haven't uh, been to China before, so they fear the uh, 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 the capacity can flood the market, uh, but the truth is uh, there are many uh, problems right now in, in China that uh, so the capacities won't be uh, easily released into the market. Um, that uh, again, uh, there are some political reasons and also uh, economical reasons too. And also uh, um, uh, the key issue, uh, for example, in the Salt Lakes uh, in Qinghai, uh, the technology is there are still not mature. So um, the uh, producers there, they are, they are still working hard uh, to make the technical break breakthrough. Uh, so before that, uh, their new capacities won't be released into the market. Right. Um, now, looking over to prices, can you talk a little bit about local price trends and where do you see prices going in the future? Uh, so for um, prices, uh, uh, at first, uh, people thought uh, in uh, this year, 2018, price will keep uh, rising and uh, it may drop in the second half. But uh, to our surprise, uh, the price uh, began to, to drop uh, in, the, in the first half. Uh, uh, th there were some reasons like uh, the leading uh, battery producer in China called Nano, uh, uh, Optimum Nano. Uh, is, uh, uh, capital chain uh, broke, uh, this caused uh, the whole industrial chain to, to change. And then um, there were some cheap uh, products from Qinghai and uh, uh, Jiangxi province uh, that uh, made from brine and lepidolite. Uh, they couldn't wait uh, the price to uh, increase, so they put it on sale, and this uh, dragged down the uh, overall, overall uh, prices in China too. And uh, but. Uh, for the future, uh, especially in, sh in short term, uh, all the sellers, they are quite optimistic about uh, the trend because in the second half, uh, usually the NGV sales increase uh, usually happens in the second half. And also the consumer electronics, uh, their hot season uh, is usually after August. And then um, the new capacities won't be uh, quickly released into the market, so the supply 
uh, according to many s sellers, it will be still tight. Right. And um, there is also a lot of talk about change in battery chemistry. Um, what is the current technology preferred in China and what are you seeing as potential replacements of the current technology? Yeah. Yes, so about the um, technology, uh, most uh, battery uh, producers, they, they are, uh, well, they used to consider two methods, uh, two directions. One is uh, LFP, the other is uh, NCM and NCA. Uh, however, uh, as the years go by, the Chinese government, they are making the subsidy policy, uh, um, uh, which is um, uh, encourage uh, the industry to, to use more um, uh, uh, the battery with higher energy density. So that will uh, link towards the, the NCAM and NCA. Uh, and also this will cause uh, uh, the uh, demand growth of uh, lithium hydroxide. Right. And um, what about environmental regulations in the country? Are they having or will they have an impact in the lithium sector? Uh, yes. So in China, the uh, environment, environmental is inspection is getting stricter and stricter and uh, sometimes uh, and also it, it has uh, already made some impact in other industries like Wi-Fi and uh, um, magnesium. Uh, for example, Wi-Fi price increased this year because uh, the production uh, were, were shut down in Shandong province. Um, uh, but in lithium sector, uh, it is better because um, lithium production uh, doesn't involve with um, the acid uh, or other um, dangerous chemicals like hydroxide, uh, sorry, uh, hydrogen chloride. Um, so right now, uh, there's no major impact in the uh, lithium sector. And finally, my last question for you today. Do you think China will continue to dominate the space in the next few years? And if so, why? Um, I think uh, every... Uh, people, uh, person in the industry will uh, agree that China will still to dominate the, the space uh, because uh, you know the NGV sales uh, in China uh, that um, accounts for over uh, like over, uh, half uh, in the world, and uh, uh, the major, the biggest uh, produce, uh, battery producers uh, is uh, CETL is in China, the biggest uh, NGV producer BYD. Uh, it's also in China, and um, uh, the technique of uh, spodumene proce processing uh, in China is mature, um, and the major conversions in the world uh, are also uh, done in China. All right, Edward, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.